In this video, we're going to think a bit about our specimen. We have done a lot with plants, and now it's time to build some infrastructure around specimens. We're going to need a new uh, XHTML page. We'll also need a new user interface class. We've been using search plants quite a bit. So let's make a new uh, user interface class, and we'll simply call it a specimen or something like that. So we'll go to class. Okay, it's a plain old Java object, which is one of the benefits of using JSF and Spring, is everything marries up nicely. What do I mean by a plain old Java object? I mean it doesn't need to extend anything. So we'll call this, uh, let's say, specimen. But I don't want to confuse it with a DTO, so we'll call it a specimen value object or a specimen VO. A value object is similar to a DTO, but oftentimes it has a close relationship with a user interface. And I'll choose finish. Okay, now I'm going, because it is a user interface component, I'm going to borrow some of the annotations that we have from, from uh, uh, search plants. I'll go ahead and grab named, manage being, and scope. Okay, and we will paste. We are going to have some attributes that we're going to need to deal with on here. So we might think about something like a plant, because remember specimens belong to a plant. So I will say, uh, what was our plant DTO? Uh, just plant. Okay, so we'll say plant, and then uh, plant. Okay, and Control Shift O, organize imports. Uh, let's create a getter and setter for plant. So Control One, and then create getter and setter as soon as that comes up. And okay, we're also going to need to think about making a specimen DTO. Let's cross that bridge when we get to it. Okay, one more thing that we might need to do is remember where we just left off in our previous video. We were in our search plants and we were in this method uh, on row selected or on row select. This is the method that's called when we click an item in our data table. What we need to do is take this plant here and give it to our specimen VO here. So we need to set up a dependency between search plants and specimen VO so that the two can talk to each other. So in search plants, let's make a new attribute. We're going to say private, and then we're going to say specimen VO, and then specimen VO, just like so. Now remember, we're not going to use any kind of constructor call. Instead, we're going to use the at inject for, uh, annotation, which is going to allow Spring to create the specimen VO and inject it into search plants. Okay, add inject. So now we're going to go back down to our on row selected and let's say push the selected plant into uh, search. I'm sorry, specimen VO. So we'll say specimen VO dot set. Remember, we just made that setter method dot set plant, and we'll push the plant straight in. Okay, and plant. Okay, and save. I'm going to go ahead. We want to. Okay, we'll terminate. There we go. Okay, and enter. And what does it not like here? Uh, the method set plant plant is undefined for type specimen VO. So did I do something incorrect? Uh, everything looks good to me. Com plant places DTO. Okay, let me save. Maybe it just needs a little kick. And it ends up I simply had not saved my specimen VO. Uh, looks like we've taken care of that now. Uh, I just had to save it after I did that automatic create getter and setter. So. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put int i equals 1 plus 1. Let's do this one step at a time very slowly. And we want to debug through every step to make sure that everything's working properly. We have a lot of moving parts in our application. There's no secret about that. So what I recommend that you do, don't try to do everything at once and then build and then test. Instead, one step at a time, use that debugger. Debugger is your best friend. So I'll go ahead and build and redeploy in debug mode, and we'll take a look.
And with the page deployed now, let me quick click on 13, the Quercus rubrum. It's going to take us into debug mode. Uh, okay, plant, let's look at the debugger again. And Pleasant Ridge Oak uh, just made that one up, but Quercus and rubrum, sure enough. Specimen VO set plant, let's step into here and take a look. The plant is getting passed in. If I mouse over just a moment. There's our Pleasant Ridge Red Oak. So this is the managed bean that's going to support our very next page, and that is the specimens page. And we see that we're passing over the plant details. Next, we just need to think a little bit about what the specimen's going to look like. But first, let's make sure that we can make just a quick and dirty page that's going to show the specimen. And let's make sure we can navigate to that once we have populated the specimen VO. So I'm going to look at our index.html because this is using our template and we want to continue to use this template to give a uniform look and feel throughout our, throughout our application. So I'm going to right click on index. I'm simply going to say copy and then web content and I'm going to choose paste. And we're going to call this specimen.xhtml and then we're going to choose OK. And inside specimen we're going to doctor it up a little bit. We're going to make this very simple to start with. We can certainly add a whole lot more uh, as we keep going. So uh, title, uh, let's say plantplaces.com, uh, and we'll say specimen. And then top, once again, we're going to say plantplaces.com, and then we're going to say specimen. Spelled correctly. Okay. And then we'll say specimen for the title. Okay, output label, this is where it's going to be important. Uh, we're going to say specimen vo dot plant dot, uh, let's say, common. How about that? So we want to make sure that we can read the plant information when we get to this page. Um, everything else, I'm going to start, I'm going to kind of chop a lot out of here. Let's see, do I need to keep that form? Um, We'll keep the form, but we will get rid of what's in the middle of it. And then we'll keep, well, we can, repo, we can repurpose that sometime. Uh, I'll say specimen vo.execute. Well, nah, you know what? Forget it. Let's go ahead and remove what's inside there. We'll, we'll put things in there as we need. Okay, and delete. And then within the h4 tag here, I'm just going to say specimen management. Okay, so... Clean up a bit. Oops. And with the help of the video uh, pause functionality, we finally get to a cleaned up state with specimen management. And I'm going to save. And this is what we're calling specimen.xhtml. OK. Now, back to our search plants manage bean. We're in this on row select, and we want to redirect to that specimen page. But one thing's interesting. Notice that this method returns void, not string. So we're not going to use our typical faces context or faces config navigation. We have to do kind of like an inline redirection here. We have to basically say, hey, I know on row select is not a navigation method, but I need to have it do a redirect to another page. And for that, first of all, I no longer need this line. I'm going to say faces config dot get whoops make that uh, faces context dot get current instance dot get external whoops sorry get uh, external context is what we need okay and then we're gonna say redirect so this string here, faces context dot get current instance dot get external context dot redirect, that allows us to go from our current page to a new page. And I'm going to say uh, specimen dot xhtml, which is that new page that I've made. I put that in quotes so it's a string, and then save. Okay, it gives me a red line here, and so I'm going to control one, and we see uh, it has an exception, surround with try catch. What I would like to do at this point, if you remember we made those uh, alerts earlier, 
The best thing to do here because we're in a UI layer is to send an alert up that says, hey, um, gosh, I can't redirect if I get to the catch block. In other words, we want to inform the user that something's wrong and that we can't go to the specimen page. So hold that thought. We'll come back and clean this up in a bit. But what I'm going to do now, uh, I'm going to pause the video for just a moment so I can rebuild and then we will take a look at the results. Now our success criteria here is twofold. Number one, we want to make sure that we can navigate from the plant page to the specimen page. Number two, we want to make sure that we actually see the plant name in the specimen page using that output label we saw with the dot syntax. So let me click on uh, Quercus rubrum, Pleasant Ridge Red Oak. This is going to fire the debugger. I could probably turn that off because we should be satisfied that that works at this point, but let's keep going. Okay, can we still select the proper plant? Let's see. Quercus rubrum, Pleasant Ridge Red Oak. That looks good. Okay, uh, now we're going to redirect to specimen.xhtml. Check the spelling very carefully if you have an error here because that spelling needs to be precise. I'm going to go ahead and choose continue, toggle back to the browser, and take a look. We come to the specimen page. It has applied our template, and sure enough, Pleasant Ridge Red Oak. Specimen, specimen management, Pleasant Ridge Red Oak. Let's see where that Pleasant Ridge Red Oak comes from. Let's just re-remember that. So I go to Java EE View. I go to the specimen page. And take a look. Specimen, specimen management. Remember those two? Specimen, specimen management. And what comes between the two is this output label. Specimen VO, plant, common. How in the world did I come up with that? Well, remember, specimen VO is a managed bean, correct? So it's luckily it's right over here. I put the managed bean annotation on it, which means that it is available to any of my JSF pages. And because in the web XML I've defined I've defined a filter uh, for faces, I said anything that is X HTML should be handled by faces. Okay, so that marries those two together. Then we have dot plant dot common. When you see the syntax with dot notation like this, that's what we call ognal syntax or object graph notation language. And that means where you see the dot, think dot get. So specimen view dot get plant dot get common. Let's follow the trail. Specimen view. Do we have a method called get plant? We do. And that returns a plant. I click on that. Do we have a method called get common? Control O and Eclipse will allow me to select get common. We do. So what this is doing for us then is it's using dot notation specimen view dot get plant dot get common to find the plant information that we selected in our Ajax method on row select and then we set using the set plant method here. So that dot notation combined with this Ajax method on row select, that ties everything together. So in this video, we've seen how to make a page, redirect to that page using faces context, dot get current instance, dot get external context, dot redirect. We've also seen how we can use ognal syntax, object graph notation language, to get information out of a managed bean and display it on the page. In our next video, we're going to enhance the specimen screen so that we can actually enter information about the specimen. Uh, latitude, longitude, when uh, maybe uh, when it was planted, who planted it, things like that. So we'll take a look at that in our next video. I look forward to seeing you then.